Hey everybody, it's Frank here, the Mad Dad, and today is uh, Wednesday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day. Don't think that's an official holiday. In fact, it's, it's not an official holiday, it's just a day. Uh, nobody has fooled me yet today. Well, unless what I've read isn't true. I guess that's always a possibility. But, um, yeah, anyways. It is April 1st. I'm on day 13 of my self-isolation, which means tomorrow is actually my last day. Tomorrow's Thursday. And then as of Friday, I'm a free man. Yay! Free man in the sense that uh, not really free. Uh, but at least I can go outside. I'm trying to convince my partner that I'm going to go for a bike ride. We'll see how that goes over. Actually, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so so maybe that won't work out. And you know, it's interesting. So I was thinking this morning about my about my partner, and holy shit, she is hardcore. Um, I'm a, I'm the type of person that I I was pretty much done what I wanted to do when I wanted to do and everything else. And yeah, you know, I wouldn't say that I break rules, but I I like to walk the line most of the, most of the time. And um, you know when. Kind of the story is when I went on my last business trip to, I was actually in Hawaii for, um, originally it was going to be for a week, wound up being for three days. I came home early because of all of the shit that was going on. But, um, you know, obviously I had to, uh, I traveled through um, uh, Honolulu and then San Francisco and then to Vancouver, which is my, which is my home city. Um, and uh, she told me before I went on the business trip, she really didn't want me to go. Uh, she, and you know, she gave me, you know, saying this was not a good time to travel. And, and I was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because it was something that I really felt that I had to do, especially if things were gonna get, be getting bad, um, just from a, uh, you know, keeping business up perspective. And so, uh, when I wound up getting to Hawaii, uh, I wound up working with my customer for two days. And then on the third day, when I was supposed to go back, that's when the uh, Prime Minister Tros basically said, the border's gonna be closed. And he says, if you are out of the country, you get back home now. And so basically I rebooked my flights and I came home that day. And I kind of came through, uh, you know, Honolulu, and then I went to San Francisco, and then I came to Vancouver. And um, my, my partner had told me, she says, you know, if, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna be self-isolated for two weeks. And I kind of complained a little bit about it. And, you know, I said, well, you know, I can still go outside. She says, no, no, that's not the way it works. If you're coming home, you are going to stay upstairs. I mean, we've got a, a, a decent sized home. So she says, you're staying upstairs. I'm gonna get it ready for you. You're gonna be there for two weeks and you're not leaving that stairs. And I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, well, you know, maybe, Maybe I'll stay up there for two weeks, but I'm sure that I can find an opportunity to to sneak out. And nope, nope, no opportunities to sneak out. Zero, <laughs> zero opportunities to sneak out. She has made sure like there's an invisible line at the top of the stairs that I cannot cross. And and you know here's the funny thing is, like I said, I pretty much I was done whatever I wanted to do. Um, maybe that's one of the reasons why I wound up getting divorced. Anyways, and um, but I'm actually scared. I'm scared of her, right? She's a, not a very big person. Probably outweigh her by a hundred pounds. But um, you know, she's a, she's a, a, a small woman with a um, very 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 strong personality. And, you know, like I said, she uh, basically made up this rule that I could not cross that line, that invisible line at the top of the stairs. And I have to say, I mean, she's made it pretty easy for me to stay up here. Um, you know, I, I, she brings me all my meals, all the coffee I want, uh, any, anything I want. Um, <laughs> she also looked as an opportunity to control my food intake, which is kind of funny too, because you know I'm, I know that I'm a little bit overweight, probably a lot overweight, um, and definitely not getting exercise while I'm up here is is a bit of a problem as well. So, you know, there's no there's no sneaking sneaking to the candy store 
getting getting an extra chocolate bar or, or something like that. That just ain't happening up here. I can't do anything. I have nothing, right? I'm closed off from from any food other than what she gives me. And, and the food she gives me is pretty healthy and everything else. And I can't say that, you know, um, once again, it, it's definitely not been a bad situation. It's just me wanting to go outside. So I can't go outside, visible line. I got one more full day, well today and Thursday and then Friday. Um, I can go outside, but we're still gonna be really practicing social distancing, you know, no friends over, no visiting friends, communicate over the, you know, whatever, FaceTime, Skype, uh, running my business through FaceTime, Skype, you know, it's only one person in the office at any time right now. Normally I have three. Everybody else is working from home. <sighs> it works. It works. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to complain. Um, so, you know, as I do every morning, kind of the first thing I do is, is when I get up, I check out the news, see what's happening. And, um, you know, in terms of coronaviruses, coronavirus cases, it, I guess every day I get shocked by what's going on. And you know, here's the latest number. So this is this is as of as of April first, um, nine hundred twelve thousand cases, right? And that's the cases that they've I guess they've tested for. The real number, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a factor of ten over that nine million. I mean, it's possible. I mean, how many people? don't actually feel sick, but have it. And and I include myself in, in that group as well. I mean, I possibly could be one of those people that already got it or had it. And like I said, when I was in Hawaii, I was feeling a little bit funny, but then could have been just in my head too. Anyways, 912,000 confirmed cases, 45,000 people have died as of, as of April 1st. And you know, I guess I should go back and look at the, the numbers, but I, I'm i sure that like at the beginning of last week, it was like 20,000 people had died. Maybe it was more than that, but now we're at 45,000. Um, so I'm gonna have to write this number down somewhere because like, I, I'm sure that in a week, I'm gonna look at these numbers again and I'm gonna go, holy fuck, like now it's like 100,000 people dead. And um, you know, of course, as anybody who's been watching this knows, uh, President Donald Trump is is one of my favorite people in the world. Not, um, but you know he uh, he's finally kind of admitted that uh, you could be seeing anywhere from 100 to 200 thousand people die in the United States, which is a huge number. That's going to have all sorts of impacts on a lot of different things. I know I touched my face. Okay, um, yeah. So, um, and right now there's like um, 35,857 people that are either in serious or critical condition. And so if you've got that many people in serious or critical condition, probably half of them are going to die, right? So it'll be really interesting. Like I said, every day you look at the numbers. And I mean, my memory's not that great, but I smoked a lot of pot when I was younger. Not, I don't know if that's the reason or not, but um, you know, I don't have a great memory for, for remembering things like this, but certain things stick out in my mind. And that's one of the things that definitely 912,000, so just under a million. So, so the other little interesting tidbit that came out today, which made me wonder is, of course, we've all been hearing at least here in North America, whether Canada, the US, I'm sure it's the same. Don't wear masks. It's worse to wear a mask than it is to not wear a mask. Of course, whenever you see videos in China and that and everything else, everybody has to wear masks. I think the state, the government actually said, you have to wear a mask. If you go out, you have to wear a mask. And here in North America, they're saying, don't wear masks um, because the healthcare professionals need those masks. And so now what we're finding out is that they're they're going the government saying oh well maybe you should be wearing a mask which now comes down to what's the you know there, there's there's a typical i guess a, um, a misdirection 
uh, of of things like um, that's pretty fucked up actually if they're telling people not to wear masks and now they're telling people to wear masks nothing's changed but the reality is uh, what I believe is that they didn't want people wearing masks because they wanted those masks for healthcare professionals excuse me because there's a huge shortage of masks and uh, they, they kind of said said that so of course people haven't been wearing masks and now they're going to probably change that and say if you're going to go outside you need to wear a mask then of course the problem comes down to um is there masks for everybody now i i actually prepared i got prepared you know oops not my camera there so just just a second i'll show you what i got here so so a month ago um you know, you couldn't get masks at places like Walmart or London Drugs or any place like that. I tried to get them there. And then I thought, oh, well, maybe maybe I'll go to Home Depot. And actually, I wound up getting a, it's an N95, 3M. Oh, no, this one's made by Milwaukee. I don't know if it's actually made by Milwaukee or it's made by 3M or, or somebody else, but it's definitely an N95. Yeah, it says N95 on it, right? You can see... By there, N95. And this is actually a mask that is uh, used in the construction industry for fiberglass and painting. And you see that the way that it's designed is pretty neat here because it's kind of got this gasket. It's like a rubbery foam, rubbery foam gasket. And then a filter here, or not a filter, this is a relief valve, so that um, when you're breathing in, uh, it comes through the mask when you're breathing out, it expels through that. Now, the thing about this mask is it keeps you from getting sick, but obviously if you are sick, well, when I breathe, uh, all my air is completely going out of this relief valve. So I can still spread my germs. I just don't get anybody's germs. It's actually a selfish mask is what it is. It's a selfish mask because it protects you. It doesn't protect people around you you're sick but my point is is I went to Home Depot and I actually picked up like um, a half dozen of these masks uh, you know kids my partner um, my my ex uh, who has health issues uh, I want to make sure that she had one as well um, so that uh, and it seems like everybody was going to all the other places but they weren't really necessarily thinking about the home home hardware stores and stuff like that now, do they still have them there? Probably not. I would assume that people clued in at some point and went there and started buying them. I don't know. I, I've been isolated for like 13 days before that I was traveling. So it's really been like almost a month since I've actually been out. Yeah, almost a month. Anyways, I've got my, my mask. And, you know, getting back to the whole thing about the... Um, uh, government now saying that uh, they want people to wear masks, whereas before they didn't. Well, they haven't said that yet, but it's it's certainly uh, potential. Um, I don't know. It seems kind of shady on the government's point of view. I think they should have been telling us to wear masks from the very beginning, but understandably so. They didn't want this other panic thing that's going on, right? Where you would have had people going out and buying up all the masks. And I almost am one of those, well, I wouldn't say I'm one of them. I bought, how many did I buy? I bought three, five, I bought six, I bought six. No, I bought five masks. I bought a total of five masks. So, um, you know, I personally bought five masks, but they were all for members of my family. I'm certainly not hoarding any masks. Anyways, those are my rants and raves for the day. Um, I moved some money of mine. I don't have a lot of money, but I moved some into um, the uh, something called uh, Quest Trade, and I think there's some great opportunities around stocks right now, which I'm going to take a look at. Um, I'll let you know what happens with that. I haven't actually done anything yet, but I'm watching. I think that there's a jobs report in the United States out due out on the third, which is Friday. And it'll be interesting to see, like stocks have just dropped like huge. So 
and the majority of them will probably come back if they're like blue chip companies. So I think there's some interesting opportunities there, but I'll let you know what I think. That's for another video, maybe tomorrow. The day, that'll be day uh, 14, day 14. All right, so anyways, that's all that I have to say. If this is the first time here and you got it this far and you've, you've watched this, I noticed a few more people are watching, so maybe something's going on there. Anyways, please subscribe. Down, there's a, gonna be a little link that appears here. Uh, click that button, click that notification bell. That way you know when I put out new content. And, and I'm gonna put out content as often as I can. And um, if you have any comments, anything you'd like me to talk about, you know, uh, do you disagree with anything I say? Do you agree with anything I say? Leave them, leave them below. I promise I will answer anything that is left uh, because the reality is, is not very many people watch these videos and I don't get very many comments, so I can, I can answer them all. So maybe that'll change. All right, thank you very much. Remember, stay safe. Don't fuck around. If you're supposed to be self-isolated, stay self-isolated. Don't be spreading your germs and virus and shit to other people. Stay safe. And then this will end eventually. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye.